digging the show from my side. Nice. Yeah, I've uh, spent the whole weekend. Well, I've basically started work on Friday, which is an odd day, but I mean, days don't matter. Um, and then I was just read, like, just doing all the podcast stuff because I was behind. Yes. <laughs> behind. Um, so I've done that. But welcome, everybody, to the show. Those of you that are new to this, this is basically called Galactic Conversations. And I actually wanted to go into how this name came about, um, which speaks to our meeting and the beginning of our stuff. But essentially, I'm a medicine woman and ascension guide, and Justine can do her own introduction. Oh, well, I'm a... <laughs> Besides the Matrix character right now. Oh, yeah, well, I've got the lights on. <laughs> and um, I've been, like I said, I've been painting. So I'm feeling a little bit stoned, actually. I'm sure you are. Yeah, because yeah, I've used this, um, you know, because I... I did my own floors about 12 years ago and I put a special application on. Yeah. So now I can't, there's nothing really that, that I can use to, to paint over it except for this, um, uh, this road marking paint that they use on the roads. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's yes. Super thick and gooey and, and it, pungent. It's hectic. Yeah. So I started on Saturday painting the floors with this road marking. And they only have yellow, black, red, and white. So I'm painting my floors white, and uh, today I started with my walls. Nice. So, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit… Um, Hi. Matrixy. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought… Because um, I wrote… I actually wrote down a couple of com galactic conversation, conversation topics, and yeah. three… So besides, like, I wanted to chat about our journey and how Galactic Conversations, the name, came up. But I actually, I mean, I've mentioned it twice. We may as well go there. We may as well go there. Yes, no, go for it. Um, yeah, so basically, so, and actually, this is a super interesting story because I don't think I've ever asked you um, about certain parts of our meeting. So long, long ago, <laughs> I met Justine through her beloved Carolina, um, long story short, there was one ceremony where Carolina asked if Justine could come and hold space. And um, for some reason, I was just like, yes. I mean, usually it's quite a process with me. You don't just come in. But it was like, yes, of course. Um, I also couldn't remember your name because to me you were, uh, hold on, oh, Janet. Janet was the name. And you, my memory of her was that she could, she taught me how to swim and there's just whales and dolphins. So that was my thing, right? Well, that was and Atlantis I, you know, days. Hey, yeah, exactly. So obviously where you were picking it up. Yeah. And so anyway, she comes into the ceremony and I'm still, I mean, it's like the third or fourth time that I've seen her, but each time I've seen her, I've, I've been these very small intervals, like three to four minutes at a time. Um, but left an impression, you know, like, where do I know this woman from? And then she comes to ceremony. And again, I can't remember her name. So I wait till, so we do a briefing at my ceremony, <laughs> right? So I wait till last so that I can call her the fire keeper <laughs> because I can't remember her name. And I remember the first thing you said was, um, I was talking about obviously the ceremony and preparation and how, you know, I don't really want to imprint and project of what people are going to experience based on their belief systems. But there are many, many, many things out there in, in this galactic sphere. And then Justine comes in, Firekeeper comes in and she says, um, yeah, Brigida doesn't know me in this realm, but I've done a lot of work with her in the astral. And from there, I was just like, what the what is going on here? Like, um, and then you continued, you know, and you were like, oh no, like as if we were old, great, great friends. And I was like, wow. Then we go into ceremony um, and it was quite a, a profound ceremony, quite a beautiful one. And I usually check on everyone afterwards. So I check on everyone and I come to Justine and I'm like, I'll chat with you just now. And then we, we go outside, like I needed grounding. So we go outside and I'm like, Listen, we need a chat. I don't even like. 
<laughs> and so from then on, like we, we used to step out of ceremony space um, and then we would say, let's go have a galactic conversation. And yes. that's, this is a galactic council meeting and this is how it started. So this is actually how the name of our show started. Our galactical, I remember that one. Um... Ceremony. Oh my God. Yeah. That was we... hectic. <laughs> So, so this, let's speak to the first one, though, because the first one, I remember you telling me, you said something like, I've, I've met with many of the Ascended Masters many times before, but I've never had them all in one place before. Mm. Um, that's what I remember you saying about that very first ceremony. So, And I think I also remember you saying you were just literally cruising through the Akashic, like this massive library, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, and then I finally was like, listen, babes, what is your name? <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. By the way. <laughs> By the way, thanks for all the work. Thanks for holding space for me. Thanks for bringing in all the Ascended Masters. But what is your name? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, those uh, ceremonies were quite, I mean, you never know what to expect. Yeah. Um, yeah, and if it wasn't the wolves and... Jesus and Buddha and dragons and yeah, um, but then we have we've had another <clears throat> another one and this is the one that you are talking about where yeah the frequency just went like whew, skyrocketed up and <clears throat> I remember I was like on the floor holding the floor and I was like what is going on it literally felt like the whole temple was shaking. And everyone just started throwing up. up. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, you know, we were only <laughs> we were only about quarter to the third hour in. So it was yeah. early time. Well, you know, getting to, to closing time, but still early. And I was like, I need to hold this frequency a little longer, but I literally cannot. Everyone started throwing up, which doesn't happen often. Doesn't in happen. In, not in mushroom ceremony. No. Yeah. Definitely not in yours. Yeah. Because people prepare properly. Yeah. And then we had our Galactic Council meeting, and I was like, Justine, what happened? And she was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I said, it's okay. Just I would like to know what happened. Oh. And, I mean, you can explain. We were on a craft. Yes, well, we went, took everybody through a portal. Yeah. Off, off, off planets. Out, Literal, of, out of Earth's atmosphere. Yes, literally through a portal. Yeah. And that's why everybody started vomiting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because of this, well, the speed at which we were traveling, but they weren't aware of it, obviously. Yes. Um, I could feel it. So, like, yeah, you obviously felt it. Job. Yes. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and then we came upon um, the spaceship. Yeah. Benevolent, and, everyone, just so you know. Yes, and as we were approaching the spaceship, the doors opened. There was this opening that opened and um, this light that came through. And we actually took um, uh, the people that were at the ceremony, we you know, we were all together, basically. Yeah. I think except two people. Two people's frequency was too dense. Yeah. I know, I know. Oh, no, I know exactly who both of them are. I remember. Anyway, it was obviously an upgrade for uh, one of the initial, one of your... Um, Clients. Your clan. And um, anyway, yeah, and then we did our thing there, and then I thought, no, fuck, I've got to get these people back. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you telling me that you said to the, them on the craft, you were like, what are our coordinates? And then they told you something and you were like, but oh, that's yeah. not even in Earth's atmosphere. And they yes. were like, yes, no, but, yeah. And you were like, you need to take us back now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I knew that we went through a portal. Yeah. I mean, because you know that, I know the difference between a portal and a, um, a wormhole. Yeah, a wormhole. No, almost like a, a void. Yeah. Because um, a void goes into so many different. There's so many different um, dimensions within a void. 
a parallel universes. Yes, it's, it's quite hectic. I can imagine so. So you can get very lost in the void. <laughs> if you don't Is know that what like an Oxy's experience, kind yes, of? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Because um, I can imagine it like a mirror, a mirror room. Where yes, like, correct. And you don't know where you're standing here, but there's 15 of you, and you don't know which one is you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, no, not the void, but a portal. You just basically move from one um, position in the galaxy to, yeah, to another, another one. one. Yeah. And, yeah, and anyway, so, but when I saw the spaceship, I thought, okay, there's obviously a reason for this. And, you know, as we approached it, the, the doors opened and it was obviously for one of your clan that was there because we went in. Yes. And I said, okay, do whatever you need to do because I need to get these people back. Yes. You know? Um, yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> but that's so interesting because, like, if all of us went, but it was only for one person, mm. do we all receive the upgrade? No. So we're just holding space for that. Yeah, just holding space. You were along on the journey, but you didn't. Wow. Um, you didn't engage. Okay. Yeah. And but I remember that, as well. Actually, this is the first time we're sharing this information um, openly because <laughs> in the Galactic Council meeting that we usually had at the top of the stairs, like the 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 communication came through. And then Justine said, we can't tell them this tomorrow in the debrief. I said, no, 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 I know that. <laughs> I get way yeah. too much information. And this was like four and a half years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also in that ceremony, I think before your spaceship thing, Jesus came in. Yes, Jesus and came. He, he, he basically was like, listen, you need to pull your shit together. together. Yes, he came in. It was like for a brief second. Yeah. And it was it was not a brief second, but it was like No, I think you went out. He called you out. No, he, he came in the temple. No, he came in. Ah, okay. Came in the one door where the toilets are. Yes. And he was there. Yes. And he looked at me and he said, You better get your shit together. And then he turned around and left. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning you better focus, you know, focus, yes. fo keep focused. <laughs> Yeah. Because there was a lot, you know, when you go out into interdimensional space and and through a porthole, uh, the protection that you have to do through that and coming back. Yeah. You know, and then we and then we still and then you still had ceremony after that. I know, know? of course. Like the thing is, in in the mushrooms, <laughs> like I, I close ceremony, you know, at a certain time, but their actual. Ego death only happens after that. Yes. You know, when when time space reality just completely dissolves. So yeah. Um, yeah but it was fascinating. I mean, because I mean, after I haven't been to a lot of your ceremonies, but a few, yeah. and I know that a lot of I mean, people they bring their buckets, but there's point zero 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 one yes. percent that may be purged. Yeah. Although it happened recently again in one of my Cape Town ceremonies because the, the frequency is higher in Cape Town. It, mm, just, yes. it just is. It is. Um, and when we had um, <coughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sister Genevieve, who you met in Joburg. Yes. Um, the singer. When she plays, it also just goes boof. Yes. And then I can feel everyone like grabbing for their buckets and it's like, oh, gosh, here we go. Like, no. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's um it's wonderful how you have almost like a um it's a sign, you know. Yes. So it's very indicative of of high frequency. Um, yeah. In, yeah. Especially in your in your space when you're holding yes. ceremony, when yeah. people start purging. Yes. You know, because it's the frequencies vibrating at such yeah. a such a speed and it's yes. such a yeah, a strength. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. it's difficult to 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 hold to hold that. Yeah. And of I'm course, really excited actually for you to jump into the next one or the retreats that we're gonna do because it's been a long time yeah. since you've been in mine and obviously I've grown I mean you've you're you're a master, so 
Um, but like, I'd be interested to get the downloads and the feedback from what you um, pick up. Yeah, so we not, used we used to do that. Yeah. So at the briefing, not the briefing, but the debriefing. The debrief. Yeah. Then, because um, there were various aspects that I would see, um, yeah. besides doing the protection and yes. um, seeing the, and seeing all the intergalactical um, species come in, or uh, some ascended masters or angels or whatever, mm. or different alien species. Mm. Uh, but then we would do a debriefing, and then. Like for some individuals, there was very specific visions. Mm. Mm. Um, and I remember yeah. the one guy, I, I don't know why, I, but we would, we would go around in the circle and I said to the one guy, I saw you hanging from a tree. Um, and he actually understood that. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love the debriefing sessions. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. I change it up a bit now where I feel if they've had, if it goes too much into the cognitive space after ceremony where I just actually want them in the body, not the mind, I sometimes change the 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 debrief to some grounding exercises and then, you know, I'll still do your one word to describe your journey, one word to describe what you learned from your journey. And then I say, if you have anything you want to, and chat about after you've actually integrated yes free to call me but i i've kind of like noticed that to chat about it straight after ceremony um unless there's someone like you there do you know what i mean where we can really mm. zone in um it's like too much in the mind space especially they're exhausted you know yeah so yeah but um so yeah that's how galactic conversations came about guys yes <laughs> it's literally how it came about and then our galactical trio yeah we went out to Sibiru Lodge at your place, to your place. We got this bright idea to do a... Shedding light on... Shedding show. light on light. Yeah, just shedding light on light. light. Shedding light on light workers or something like that. Yeah, I know, shedding light on light. Yeah. A, a little bit of spiritual humor. Yes. Yes. But um, <clears throat> so I've got three questions. So obviously, like I said, we've I've been moving through the administrative process of uploading all the podcasts. So guys, yes. they are uploaded, although Justine has been on it. Um, but from my side, just reading through um, some of the questions, because we have asked you if you guys want questions. So Carol Watson. Oh, Carol. I love Carol. Okay. Hello, Carol. Yes, Carol Watson Carol. has asked a question about walk-ins. Can we discuss walk-ins? And then she mentioned... Um, what, do, what does that mean? So basically, I, from what I understand a walk-in to be is um, a soul that... So there could be an accident or a near-death experience where um, another soul comes into the body of a human vessel that has already got a soul in it yes. and either that soul goes back and the other soul takes over meaning there and there's from what I've read there's like different contracts so that soul could download a little bit of the memory of the soul that was in the in the human body or there might be completely no memory of that other physical vessel's life Yes. Um, and it's usually a good, well, from what I can sense, it's usually like quite a galactic being that comes in um, and yeah, all of a sudden these spiritual gifts are um, activated and all of this stuff. So that's one version of, of walk-ins that I've understood. Um, and then, you know, so, but then there's another one where I actually believe I know someone that has had this where two souls are now existing in one body and fighting, like it's this like fight that is happening. Um, and they're not aware that there's actually another being. I, I, I don't know if this is merely an entity coming in or it's a contract. Oh, and I have to take a deeper look into that. Okay. I'm picking up, you see, when you mention the stuff and the shit starts coming in already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do not think it's a contract. Yeah, interesting. I so the not, one person I, I do not think it's a I'm contract. saying I think I know someone. This person has been quite tormented by this process. Um, there's torment. 
because it's this battle it's this yes, war going no, on i'm not picking up a contract at all i think it's a position yeah, yeah. so yeah i guess that's another word like the, a position yes a position because that's that's a walk in yeah good point that is, that is definitely a walk in and a position could take place by a demonic um um entity where the person becomes possessed um and or and i think this happens to a lot of drug users actually well it happens to a lot of people um that drink a lot mm and on drugs and go to these mm. these big parties i don't know mm. what you call them mm it's the worst it's the best place for demons to hang out mm because that's where they okay besides demons but spirits and other mm. um entities <clears throat> mm. if you talk about alien entities or whatever the case may be if there's an mm. implant or this or that but i feel like there is this aspect of walk in where like i said it's like this something happens to the physical body you know within this one individualized consciousness and then all of a sudden some something comes in and i don't know if it's other aspects of that individualized consciousness so so like their galactic self and all you know this this unification yes um, and maybe maybe walking is the wrong term but all of a sudden they have like all of these spiritual you know and they you know i don't know maybe maybe that's what happened to noxy it's like this this overwhelming download and now you've got all the chakras open all of this all of that and you're just like what the hell just happened because the that, day before i was just a normal person normal yes that could happen the sense of a walking from an intergalactical family mm. or an intergalactical um heritage yes from your previous past lives yes not on this plane but from yes intergalactically yes you could have a walk in <coughs> where um the process of that walk in is to work together as a team yes um an interconnectedness where that walking will gain information from your experiences and you will download the aspect of their super intelligence or yes. their super whatever yes so there's an interconnectedness there yeah but you 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 more or less aware that there's an entity that that wants to align with you. Yes. Um and then obviously there's a process for that. I've I've had an instance with that where I've somebody has come to me and I I've said yes. This is kosher. Yes. Because I've I haven't interfered in the process because there's there's a relationship and a bond between these two people that's quite these magnificent. Two these two consciousnesses. Yes, magnificent. Yeah. and um i just basically gave um the steps but in the, this one that you're speaking of was that a contract mm -mm. no also not interesting no. no well it was destiny in yes. the sense of that it happened at that specific time in that specific moment based on that person's dna based on that person's dna and their frequency and so there was work being done by this one entity yeah on this plane yes completely <clears throat> super intelligent species yes come here to examine the behavior of humans <laughs> yeah and this other individual the presence of the integrity on a dna level yes matches the frequency of um artificial intelligence yes 
So there was this connection. Yes. Um, and it's, 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 it's a contract in the sense of, I said to this specific individual, they, are, they want to learn through you. Yes. Through your experiences, to understand through your experiences. Yes. Um, and you will obviously learn a lot from them. Yeah. But the connection was kosher. I mean, I, yeah. I checked all of that out. It was destined. It's, yes, it was destined. Was Give me destined. a sec. Someone has just arrived. I'm opening the door. Yeah. So in that instance, you could. Because this you, is part of the, this is like the space that we're at now where it's very much based on the evolutionary space that we're in and knowing that within that evolution, what is coming will come in different ways, shapes and forms and not necessarily the programs that we, in the way they thought we thought they would come in it's it's quite there's a yes. lot of new things occurring and happening definitely um yeah definitely so it's um, really interesting i've been working um so i haven't been working with mushrooms for over a month now just to take a little break but i've been connecting a little bit more with cannabis because i'm going to be introducing the cannabis breathwork sessions right so my first one is um, this weekend, which I'm really looking forward to. So I've been working with the spirit of Santa Maria for the last month and like deepening that process um, over the last couple of days where, you know, I, I didn't use to smoke. I mean, I smoked in my 20s. I didn't, I, I've always had a very respectful thing. And because I've worked with mushrooms, I'm like, okay, cool. I need, I need to stay grounded. But there's been a lot more smoking at the moment because I'm learning and uh, it's been super interesting. The other day I had, um, and I don't know if it would be an act. So this is the thing. I don't know if the words even matter, but I don't know if it was an activation or just a channel opening and coming through. Um, I see a channel, not an activation. Beautiful. That's, but I like the, I like the question because yes. I've had similar things happen where I know it's an activation and this one, it feels similar, but not quite. The, yeah, the, no, death, just, the death process isn't as big. Yeah. <laughs> um, this you, channel has a specific sequence, though. It has a specific code. I, so I think that's what's been initiated. Okay. It's almost like a runway. Yeah. Right? Because I was so, lying down and all of a sudden, like I just lay down. And this is two drags, you know. I lay down and then I felt my body move through um, like trauma release. So my body starts shaking and then I know something's coming. And then it just begins, you know. Um, and what I experienced was this like, it was like this, like, like you know, the, the color of a bubble, like when yes. you blow bubbles, like, whew, like yes. Like the this rainbow. bubble being, like, like luminescent bubble color in this very dense, like thick foresty kind of um, space, and just like slithering through and showing herself, himself, um, and then disappearing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's. It's what a I channel because it's 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 you know the channels are also a presence of sacredness, and you also yeah. need to understand those channels. And work with them in the correspondence, not correspondence, oof, get rid of that word very quickly. <laughs> you have to work with those channels. It's a learning process. Yeah. You know, um, and you will have different forms of um, presence that yes. pre present so, themselves. So this little, this little guy or girl or whatever came through. And then after that, what I felt was like the tribe, I didn't see, but I felt like the tribe of women of that species mm. coming through. And I was just singing and just like very motherly energy, like just singing and they just wanted to be heard. Like, and that's what it felt like. They just wanted to say hello. And, and it was like this, like the, you know, like women in tribal um, 
spaces that like are there for each other. It was like yes. this very feminine, like, but also tribal, like just the singing for the for the woman by the woman was very interesting. Yeah. And I just burst into tears, like, whew, like 30 seconds, and then I was like back in the channel. It was quite quite interesting. Yeah, Briggs, can you hang on 10 six? Sure. Forgot to bring my your whiskey. No, no, I'm not drinking. My okay. charger. Just give me a moment. Cool. Yeah, so I always find myself at these spaces where uh, Justine has left. Like, I know that I'm just having a conversation, but I also know you guys are watching. So I guess I'll take the opportunity at this time to remind you guys to feel free to ask any questions, um, if there's any spiritual stuff or anything, any life stuff that you guys want to chat about or want us to chat about, want to listen to, please feel free. Um, so thank you, Carol, for that question about walk-ins. And also please just remember, you know, like we don't claim to come across as any experts. We just have the experience that we have. Um, and take what resonates and leave the rest. You know, if you get triggered by something, you look at it, see if there's more healing that you can do. But other than that, it's, it's our show and we flow as we flow with our show. So, yeah. She is back. There we go. Right. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> get back in your seat. Yeah. Get back in your seat. Guys. Yes. Get back in your seat. <laughs> um, so I wanted to just um, reiterate that the the prospects of um, channeling is far and wide. Of course. I mean, I asked you that one time I, I was in recognition that I was channeling something. So so just just so you guys know, my process is... Just hang one, on two six. Go for it. <laughs> and like we say, absolutely in our flow, just uh, pausing and stopping. Thanks for, thanks for being in our living room space with us. I forgot to switch the power. Right, sorry. That's okay. Fair. But what I was going to say was, like, just to share my process with people through this um, learning stage that I will forever be in is that I always check, like, if it's a benevolent being by asking three times, like, are you of the light? Are you of the light? Are you of the light? And then I'll carry on. Mm -hmm. um, but the story that we're about to get to, like you say, the, the prospects are They're huge, infinite, yes. basically, because yeah the universe is infinite the multiverse is infinite so it's huge. Like the one time I asked Justine like look I'm in awareness that I was channeling what I believe to be xyz so it was an av avian species and she checked in and she was like yes you're yes. correct great mm -hmm. then I said to her the other one it was high tech that I don't know I don't I'm not familiar with the feeling of this because I work with feeling intuition clear sentience em empathy um but I checked in and was benevolent. But other than that, I have no fucking clue where this comes from. Mm -hmm. And you checked in and uh, it was a moon. Yes. I was channeling the moon of a solar system outside of our solar system. Yes. It was the moon of another planet out of yes, our solar system. Yes, moon of another planet, yes. Yes. But now, like, I, I guess I ask myself the question of, like, what is the relevance of that on Earth? Like, is it just me pinging the same frequency with this energy. What is the relevance of that on planet Earth? <laughs> yeah, like if I'm channeling this, well, and I'm like, Earth wow, I'm this amazing channel, like, wow, like, you know. Like, yes, but don't, don't forget, I mean, planet Earth is dying. Yes. Literally, <laughs> you know, because. Yeah. Humans. Or let's say she's rebirthing. 
Yeah, I mean, look, she will, um, you know, she will evolve. But the, but the fact is that the, there's a, cat a catastrophic event that's that's happening on planet Earth now. Yeah, you know that that humanity just just seems to ignore. Uh, yeah. uh, we said this the other day, including governments yeah. and and the and the culprits are huge corporations. They they yeah. they they they're the major disease of this planet. Yeah. Um, so remember that the the presence of your channeling is to um, is to bring new forms of enlightenment and information. And, intelligence. and yeah, and it doesn't mean that you're going to use that right now. You might use it in five or ten years' time. Yeah, but the 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 relationship that you create within these channels is um, um, it's the new way of communicating. Yeah. You know it and I know it because we do it on, on a daily basis. Yes. The rest of humanity don't, but that's where it is, is going yeah. to. Yes. Is that I don't need to have a fucking telescope or 25 telescopes <laughs> or um, lasers to communicate with other star systems, billions and billions. No, I yes. communicate because I channel. I or, pick up the phone. Or I, or I go through the a wormhole, or I, you know, I go into an, a port, through a portal or into another dimension. Yeah. That, 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 is, that is the new earth. Yes. Do you understand? So we are already in the, we are already in the future. My my, for sure, for sure. My question is like, okay, cool. So you've answered like, what is its relevance? Is there a relevance within the ceremony space for the clients based yes. on what I do in my function, like it's beneficial to all. Yes, it could be a personal thing for you in terms of uh, a new channel. Yes. However. Because I'm in my role and my function within that yes. space. Like yes. Being but remember, you are also the trans, uh, uh, you know, in a plug, you get, um, or on your, um, your gate motor, yeah, you get um, a device that is that transmutates the flow of electricity. So if yes. there's a lightning strike or something, yes, uh, the yeah it's coming through me and then yes, so you yeah. are basically downsizing the energy, the energy, so that they can pick up the um, you know, you are you are the perfume, and they are smelling the scent. Yes. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm holding the opium, but it's not going to knock them out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> so the the you know the um. And this is the thing. This what we were discussing is. I guess this is this is the love of what I do is the science behind this, where it's like okay, if I'm bringing in this frequency, um, it could be dangerous to people who are not energetically at, at at a space to actually receive it in their bodies. Yes, but that's why you have your protection. Then. Yeah. Okay. That's very important because it will protect. And also, based on our spaceship story, those people's frequency who can't receive it will not. No, uh, they won't. And they're, I mean, they're too we, yeah. We were doing. I was doing protection, so I mean, yeah, they, they protected. Yes. Within the realm or the scope of yeah. of 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 what occurs. Yeah. And that is the same when you are holding ceremony and something is channeled. Yeah. Um, it could be also, I'm just going to say, that on the shadow side of things, somebody could bring in a demonic or something darker or want to bring in something darker or something darker or an attachment or something from a, a it could, you know, the, it, it varies. Yeah. That's why your protection is there. Yeah. Yeah. The, the protection is, 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 yeah. is very important. Yeah. 
I did feel one ceremony. It was it was a Joburg one. Geez, like I um was I was hunting on in in the channel, but like I felt something ho ho come in, and then I was just like get out. Yeah. Um, and then this channel came through, yeah. but it's quite a um. Yeah, I just I have a lot of humility and respect for that process because it's yes. Well, you need to know what you're doing because, like I say, you know, just channeling people channel, but you need to. It, it's a learning stage, and you're going to get different levels. So, Actually, of course, it was really really interesting to share, like just a bit of the learning thing. And so, so the other day when I, you know, I smoked this um, hash joint, and I went through the channel, and I burst into tears, and I mean, I was vibrating, like I could feel. And and um, Tongo Lefikile Sam was in the room with me. Mm. Um, and so I could feel the end and I was like, okay, I need to ground now. And last year I did a, like a quantum activation course where we did, um, like coding that the physical body remembers. So it's like higher heart activates. And, and one of them was like ground my physical body now. So, mm. and I just did, I gave that command and I just poof, like, I was like a rock. From like this, like zzz, to like poof, in war, like a split second, and yeah. those moments are very powerful for me because it's like wow, like you know, and you're just speaking to the operating system. Well, you have to if you're going to to do interdimensional work and channeling, especially if you have a group of people, because there's different channels that you could have five or six channels that come through at a time. Of course, you know so. You need to be in that position. And like I say, this is, you know, the, the, the subject of spirituality. Um, for some people, it's just about praying, okay? For some yeah. people, it's about doing yoga. And everybody's got their own variance on what spirituality, how it's defined to them, what, how it, what it means to them, and how it makes them feel. For yeah. me, it's vast because of my vast experience. Yes. So it's, um, um, you know, it's 100,000 universities uh, put together. Yeah. And you're going to have your different, your different levels. Yeah. So within the channeling presence, you will move from one doing a session where you're channeling one, where you go up to channeling 12, 10 or 12. And yeah. like I say, then you are able to split yourself up. Mm. So... Within the scope of channeling, there are also different levels. Yes, of course. You know what I'm saying? So, um, no, I mean, there's one thing I've learned is, as always, I don't know shit. Like, <laughs> I'm in primary school here. but Yes, like, but you're learning. And the, the, the thing is, I mean, and I've, uh, the beautiful thing. Sorry, I just want to grab my Marlboro. The beautiful thing is that, you know, we would talk about, have conversations like two or three years ago and I could see that you were saying yes yes but not not truly really not integrated me. really understand but yes. you've experienced and once you experience yeah you know it's 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 a lesson that you cannot take away and yeah. and, and that understanding you you will understand the words that I'm saying mm. when I'm having a conversation with you two years ago yeah. But now that you have experienced the aspects of how it, how it is on the body, yeah. um, astral work, um, yeah. different forms of channeling, yeah. um, you know, um, uh, dimensional, uh, not dimensional, exorcists. Um, <laughs> yeah, just your personal experience. Your dark, dark sages. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? So... It only comes with experience, and you cannot rush that process. You no. cannot um, get into it and say, okay, Jesus, I want to know everything. No. no. You need to work within the aspects of, like I say, I, I've seen three activations that you've done now yes. in the past six months, and you need to, like, yeah, you need to, like, wusa. you need to wusa, baby, <laughs> wusa, wusa with those activations. Yeah. Yeah. Let them settle. And you you work with those, yeah. Four, five, or six months, you'll know. But if you do too many activations within a time period, you yeah. Can... And I like I like this conversation because I I'll share with you why. You know, I 
for example, say, I mean, social media is social media is social media. Most people are spending time on their phone. And those of us that are on a spiritual path or those of you that are on a spiritual path, you may be looking at light codes, you know, on one group. And, and that group has got, it's called 4,000 people in that group. And that group is putting all of their light codes on there and all of their channelings and, you know, some of them are activations and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, you know, someone that has just been activated into something is like drawn to this like a moth um, to a light and they're just like receiving all of this. And their cognitive mind, much like you said, like earlier on, you could hear me saying yes, but the cognitive mind is like, yes, I'm, I'm, this is good for me. Mm -hmm. But actually on the energetic body, it is, doing something it but it just hasn't anchored yet and it hasn't integrated yet and you're just like getting all of this information and scrambling the the radio station a bit too much maybe but too much well i think you, i think people need to take this stuff seriously yeah look i also have you know within the comment that i've made the the specific groups that i'm talking about if you if you're at that level you know what to charge for and you know what code you can put out that is just a nice peaceful calm code to the nervous system any mm -hmm. other activations it's like you know this is this is work we're going to do this workshop you're going to have to pay blah 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 i mean we are we are all masters in our own right at a certain level and i mean yeah if people are coding you got to take that shit seriously seriously yeah yeah i want to get back to carol's question yes about walk-ins, did she say, did she mention anything else? Was there an aspect, anything that she wanted to know specifically? No, she, but it's funny that she mentioned it because it's not the only person that's asked that, but like, um, it, like, you know, through, not through galactic conversations, but um, her, her message was literally, can we chat more about walk-ins? Yes, okay. So... Uh, you know, walk-ins. I would. I need. I would need to know the, the context, um, and then I can give a deeper representation. Yeah. Of that walk-in. Yeah. So maybe um, Carol and whoever else. Yeah. Um, if they can, um, maybe just give an example. You don't have to share yeah. your experience. Yeah. But basically, walk-ins can happen when uh, uh, an individual. And human flesh is not um, all, all their all their boundaries are down, and that happens when you are completely stoned, and you've done too much cocaine or mm. heroin or God knows what, and you you know alcohol. You, alcohol, but on a regular on a regular basis, and you and, and your antidepressants as antidepressants well, right? as well, your pharmaceuticals. Yeah, your pharmaceuticals. But however, if pharmaceuticals, if you take them. Um, if you are in a sound, if you if you are of sound mind, yes, there's a difference there. Yes, Good the point. the, the pharmaceuticals are there to um, adjust uh, the mood levels, mm. but if you are in, in 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 if you are sound sound of mind, yes. there's a distinct difference yes. to somebody yes. that is just popping up as and downs. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a huge but difference there. Humanity then has had a walk in. And is holding entities in them, right? Well, not everyone, because uh, um, it's dependable on the individual. Because the individual, if if they are not hypersensitive, could also be um, um, could go out drinking and and smoking and whatever, but still have a strong constitution within themselves in terms mm. of the ego. Mm, and that actually protects them. Because the ego is also a form of energy. Yes. I'm not saying at certain levels it becomes unhealthy. Yes. But the, the ego is, is, is a form of energy that is there to protect a human, right? I like that so, you put that up, yeah. Yes, so people with with strong, healthy egos, <laughs> Yeah. you know, will just, they, they uh, because they, they resonate that energy. So yes. a, a, a walk-in will say, okay, no, this is too much. This, this, is hard, will, yeah. this is too hard work. Yeah. Whereas if you've got someone that's very hypersensitive, that's basically picking up energies from, I don't know, 60 or 70 other people, you're not going to know the difference if you have a walk-in or not. Yeah, but this is the thing. So, I mean, we've spoken about those people that are 
lowering their frequency and therefore no boundaries around their energy field due to the use of um, stimulants, et cetera, et cetera. However, this would also be true for highly sensitive people like empaths. Very, 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 so very important. The possibility of them having a walk-in as an example is quite high because very high. they are picking up 17 million different energies and they don't know which one is which. Their energy yeah. are not grounded, balanced, centered. Yeah, that's why I say for and they empaths, don't even know that they're empaths, you know. Yeah, well, if you do know that you're an empath or you're highly sensitive because, you know, you can also be um, highly sensitive and, and not be an empath. We've, we've gone along yes. that spectrum of different, yes. um, high, if you're a hybrid or if you're a starseed or if you're this or if, you, or if, you, if you're five in one. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So we're going to come back to this, the aspect of self-mastery. Yeah. That you have, to, you have to institute your boundaries. You have to maintain um, and self-care your energy levels. You have to be careful who you spend time around. And you need to learn how to pick up um, what's yours and what's not. What's yours and what's not yours. And, I mean, for me, I, 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 I pick up, but I know what is not mine. Yes. But I'll pick up, for example, um, I was here the other day, uh, a month ago, two months ago, whatever, and I picked up a heart murmur. I knew, I knew it was related to... To someone that that I knew, so yes. I, sent, I sent a message and I said, "Just be careful." I've picked up, and I haven't even spoken to this person. It, it was a business relationship. Yes. And I said to this individual, "I'm picking up a heart murmur. Just be careful." And she said, "No, I'm fine. I don't have heart issues." Well, her sister had a heart yes. almost had a mini heart attack that day. Yes. And she's got a heart murmur issue, so yes. I was picking up her sister's heart murmur. Yes. So. You know, for for sense, and you, you didn't panic because you were like, I know this is not mine. No, no yeah. I don't panic. I I receive the information and then I give it on. So yeah. it it could even be to some someone who's stranger. some stranger on the street. And I mean, I've done that numerous times where you know I've walked past someone and I'll I'll say, watch if watch your cell phone tonight because I can see it getting stolen. Yes. Or in parking lots where I somebody's parked next to me and I've got to give them a message. Yes. So it's it's you know and and dependable on your hypersensitivity. Me, I'm 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 hypersensitive. Yeah. And I I, I work continuously to protect your um field. my field of energy. Yeah. Um. And I'll know when there's like a, a presence, and I'll know if it's an alien form. I'll know if it is a dark force in terms of planetary. I'll know when it's a spirit. I'll know when it's an angel. So. The mastering of oneself. Yes. This only comes with experience, guys. Quick question. With what you've just um, described, like the knowing of what is what, is this because you have a visual on it as Justine? Or does it come in many forms? Because uh, the reason I ask is for me, my my mastery in, in, in this incarnation from what I understand as we know, many things change, but and there's this evolutionary process. But for me, I have to feel everything. So I have to feel what is a spirit, what is a demonic, what is an angel, and like that's. But that's your way of picking up the, the energy because yes. feeling is a frequency. Yes. So I feel like those of you that can see have a little bit easier, but yeah, but I also know that there's distortions that come in. No, there. you mustn't worry about that because I mean, for me, I can. Like I say in the beginning, we said this in the beginning, people will have different gifts. Yes. For me, I have five or six gifts, so I can hear. Yes. I'll hear them. I can smell them. I taste them. Mm. I see them. And I feel them. Mm. And then I just fucking know. <laughs> and then you abolish And them. then you just like, you know. Yeah. So it's, you mustn't. Don't worry about that. Don't. No, no. You, I'm, I'm did you see saying, that? I, I think it was just a, such a beautiful, profound teaching for me last year where it was, and, and this was through one of Maria's sessions of like, girl, your thing is feeling. Yes. So go further into mastery of that. And, yes. and, and that has been so profound. <clears throat> now in my meditations, I'm like, it's like I have to be so still. I mean, that is meditation, but like, there's just this, this further aspect of it where I'm like, okay, 
what is this? What is that? Da, 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 da. How does this feel? And I mean, it's always been there, but now that I'm cognizant of like honing in on the mastery more, it's a very, very powerful space. And now I'm very grateful for it because I'm like, oh, you thought you, you thought you were here, like with your skill set. So like, cool. I'm, I got a hundred percent mark on empathy, intuition, clear cognizance. No, 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 no. You have to tune in more, further, further, further. And that's what I've been doing, which is well, cool. That's the aspect of self mastery is yeah. to is to really hone in on where your strengths your strengths lie. Yeah. And then to focus on that. And not to be um and and, and you said it in, in one of the episodes, is not to be too um greedy. Yeah. Um and say, okay, but I want that gift and that gift and that gift and that gift and that gift. Because yeah. as you master the presence of, of your initial gift, at a later stage, you will be able to hone into other frequencies. And yes. I mean, you know. Yeah. Um, and and uh, I, I'm not going to blow my boat here. What do you say? Blow my horn. Yeah, toot your own horn. Uh, but I've, I've had major experience. Yeah. And this is not in one lifetime. Yes. This is and this is not only in lifetimes on this plane; it's intergalactical yeah. lifetimes. So yeah. I mean, it's it's um, you know thousands and thousands and thousands of years of experience. So yeah. you know, just take it, take it. Yeah, I'm not that take a chopper. You know, have a jelly tot or something. You know, <laughs> have an have an astro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Work on on the aspects of of work on of, your strengths. On your strengths, very yeah. important. Yeah. you know, and that includes. Um, your basic protection elements. Yeah. You know, like grounding and clearing your energies, checking yeah. your energies. Like I say, I check, I check the the portals on my feet. I check my feet. I check all the all the energy systems on my legs, on my knees. I check my head all the time. You know, you. you I still do that. Yeah. Um, nice to know, Master Justine. No, you. Ha well, I do. I do that because I. I if I've had like a rough week or something, or you yeah. know, there could just be an imbalance. Well, I feel something in my body is off. You know, then I go in and I check. Okay, yeah. what's what's happening here? So it's important to be consciously aware. You know, yeah. you can't just say, okay, well, I know all the shit, and you know, okay, now everything's going to be hunky and dory. Yeah. No. Yeah, it doesn't no. stay in the brain as a as a knowledge. No. And this is the this is no. and I mean we'll close off with this, but it's like this is the whole purpose of embodying. <laughs> this is yes, what and standing get. standing body, in your power. Body. Yeah. You can read all the books, but if you yeah. don't do the practices You've got then, to practice. Yeah. You've got to yeah. practice, yeah. Yeah. So um if if Carol and the other person has an example, um, I'll be happy to to give um you know, to go deeper into that. Perfect. I mean, <clears throat> with the last little minutes left, I mean, maybe I'll discuss what we can um, chat about next week, but there's an interesting question. And so it's basically like when a person has been adopted. Yes. So we'll discuss this next time. When a person has been adopted and they begin to do ancestral healing within their lives. Yes. Is the ancestral healing based on their original birth parents or is it their family who has adopted them? Because surely that adoption process is a contract. It's with, both. So it's even more. It's even it's, more ancestral healing. It's both. Wow. Wow. Because wow. you come you come into the adopted family with a with a bag on your back. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's both. You have to And you depending have to. on how quickly or how you let go of the adopted family trauma is when you can begin to work with your 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 family trauma, as in those that adopted you, not those that left you. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And I think at some stage they might even intertwine. Of course. Because there's a contract there. Of course. Of course. I'm seeing I'm seeing I'm seeing into it's, it's a lot of work actually it's, it's work it's work yeah 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 well cool guys thanks for joining us on as far as i understand based on the admin i've done this is episode 11 so correct I'm number 11 correct um join us next week and pop your questions in and carol we hope we've answered yeah uh, if not please just um yeah yeah 
And next week we'll deal with Tara's question. <clears throat> Keith, we've kind of jumped on that with the um, adoption stuff. But other than that, have a beautiful week. And thank okay, you. Okay, guys. Lots of love. Peace. Bye. Bye. <clears throat>